<sighs> okay. I wasn't going to do a video on this, not because the movie is bad or anything, but because I'm tired as fuck. But I wanted to talk about this movie real quick while it's fresh on my head, because if I go to sleep, I'm going to forget shit, because it's a two hour, 14 minute movie. But this movie is worth checking out this weekend. So let's talk about The Woman King real quick. Here we go. The Woman King. The Woman King is the newest historical movie that's coming out this Friday. There's like three movies coming out. Uh, no, two movies. I'm seeing three movies this week. This is the first. We stars Viola Davis. She is absolutely incredible in this movie. Like I said, it's going to be a little unconventional review that you're kind of probably used to from me. I don't have the green screen and shit because I just wanted to do a quick like, should you see this movie? Should you not see this movie? Let's talk about it real quick. Woman King. First of all, is it a good movie? I'm gonna say this movie is definitely, it has an audience, but I definitely think that if you're one of those, like, you like historical dramas and shit, and it does have some action in the movie too, this is definitely a good one. Is this like Oscar bait? Maybe, but Viola Davis, she absolutely kills it in this movie as a general, pretty much just wants to train the next generation of, you know, Dora Milaje and shit to just defend this African nation. Sound familiar? Cause you're gonna see it again in November. I always did a good job in it, but this acting in the movie was great. You got John Boyega, you got, what's her name? Girl from Captain Marvel, Monica Rambo. She's in the movie too. Ensemble of good characters, good storytelling, good, you know, dynamics, good like heart. It just hits you here, just like attached to it. Cause like I said, this movie, do I want to say it's like black, it's sort of like Black Panther 2.1.5 kinda. But at the same time, it's like, I just felt like I walked away. Like if you want to see a movie about the, the Dora Milaje from Black Panther has their own like spinoff movie, I think this would be it, sorta. Well, kinda, because we're gone forever. I think that Woman King was definitely a good movie. Had a great action, has good, you know, lessons, has good heart, good messages. I thought it was, I like, I don't know if these, this is based off of true events. I don't know how true it is, because I don't read books. Reading's boring, but watching videos, that's fun, right? Well, Davis was amazing in the movie. The cast movie was great, and overall, it's kind of long. And that's never a negative, because if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. There are a bit of slow moments, stuff like that, too, to make you be like, oh, check them watch, go check her out. And today, I thought it was, it was pretty good. Plot a little convoluted, but at the end of the day, I had a good time with it. So I'm gonna say that the Woman King is definitely a nice, strong seven out of ten, which is definitely worth seeing at matinee. Woman King's in theaters this Friday. You're gonna see it. You're not gonna see it. Type later. I'm gonna talk about it. I will have a much more regular review on Wednesday because I'm gonna see Bros. That that movie that's about two homosexual guys, just a you know, homosexual comedy. That's gonna be fun, right? And then A24's Pearl. I'm gonna see that Friday. So like I said, three reviews. Busy week. As always, guys, subscribe. Until next time.